I'm Leo Laporte. You're probably already using your computer as an entertainment unit. I mean, if, if you listen to music on it, many of you do, I know, with MP3s or CDs. What about watching TV on it as well? TV tuner cards give you the ability to watch your favorite sh uh, shows while, like, like while I call for help while you're in the chat room or surfing the web or doing your spreadsheets. A lot of people watch CNBC during the day and they watch their stock prices while they're working. It's very popular and very affordable these days. Here's to tell us all about the video capture cards, the TV tuner cards. ZDTV tech analyst and TV junkie. Actually, he's not. He's more of a game junkie. Robert Heron. Hello, Robert. How you doing? Now, we talked about video capture cards in the last segment. What's the difference between a TV card and a video capture card? Video capture probably doesn't include a tuner. Tuner. So uh, this is a video capture card, but it captures it from the antenna. Precisely. That little silver box in the front there is the TV tuner itself. Okay. So that has to kind of be, that's how you change the channels. And, and that's actually analog circuitry that has to come along with the card or you won't be able to watch TV. Now, if you had a tuner, like if you plugged a, a, can, a VCR into it, you could tune with the VCR, and then so any capture card could be a TV card. Right? If you could add a tuner, like with the VCR, that'd be perfect. Okay. So just so you understand uh, the difference, why would you do this? Why do you want to put TV on your on your computer? Two primary reasons I could think of would would be cost and space. Okay. Cost being, you can get a TV tuner, or you can get a TV capture or TV tuner card for about sixty dollars. Sixty bucks. On up to say about eighty. Of course, a so TV, a thirteen-inch TV, about a hundred bucks, but. Uh, that would take up more space on your desk. True, and so that was, that's the other issue too. Like in offices at ZDTV, we have some of us have TVs at our desk. Right. And it'd be really nice just to have a little video window sure. in the corner of the monitor. Then I could get my daily Gomer pile fix without having to anybody know that I'm actually watching. It's true. Right. And that's it could be very embarrassing. So <laughs> go away. So save space, save money. Plus, it's just cool uh, if you're, uh, like I said, if you're watching the stock market, to be able to watch that in a little thumbnail on your window while you continue to work. It's exactly. Cool. We're doing that right now. We're watching TV. Now, you said one thing I thought was interesting. Many people have one and don't even know it. True. If you have, uh, like, an all-in wonder card from ATI. Right, which was the most popular card. Take a look at the back of your video last card year. And yeah. see if you have one of these coaxial inputs. This is, this, is, this is how you would know if you have a TV card. Chances right are, here. If you have something like that to hook a cable line up to, it is a TV tuner capture card. Okay, so that, that, I mean, there's no other reason why that would be on a video card except to go to your cable. Exactly. All right. So if you have one of those, hook it up. Now you'll need some software. True. Most of these cards come with software. And if for some reason you couldn't find the CD, go to your manufacturer's website and download the. Download How would the I know if I didn't even know I had this? I might not know the manufacturer. A really good website we use in the lab for checking out a system without opening the case is Bellark. Bellark Advisor. It's B E L A R C dot com. Small app that downloads automatically yeah. when you click on a link, and it gives you a nice printout, including all the video information. So it would tell you if you have a video. Print. By the way, I said that. That's why I said that fast. B E L A R C. Bellark. Dot com. All right. So this is one kind. This is a uh, an all in wonder. Uh, popular. Very popular. This was the old one. The old all in wonder Pro. There's now an all in wonder 128. True. Uh, it's a video. It's a regular video card too, right? Because I, I hook up All my monitor to that. Integrated, unlike as well as TV. If it if it was just a video tuner card only, a TV tuner card only, you it wouldn't, wouldn't have, have this exactly. Right. And I, as I told uh, John, uh, our previous caller, not only does it have TV in here, but it has TV out. So this is really when they say all in wonder, they mean all in wonder. It does everything. Bring the video in, do what you like with it, and send it out to a VCR. Now, what if I have a video card I like? I don't want to do, you know, replace it with a, a whole new video card. That's where you'd look for just an add-on TV tuner card. And you can get those? Very, yeah. All, all in one, there actually is an all-in-wonder TV, what is it called, TV? I think it's a... Uh, TV Wonder. Wonder TV? Or? Wonder TV. Mm. Wonder, Wonder. <laughs> I think it's the ATI TV Wonder. That's, That's what they're telling bucks. me. $60. Hapag, Hapag of course. is a very well-known company. Win TV line. Win TV. If you go to a CompUSA or any computer store, you'll see those on the shelves. Inexpensive. And basically, you keep your video card, but you add a second card. But what if that, you know, adding a card is always tricky. What if I don't want to open the case? Is there another solution I can oh, do? Oh, external. USB. There's USB. Really nice USB solutions. So if I have USB out, I can use something like this. That's from Pinnacle Systems. Okay. The PC TV. Now this, I, there's nothing inside the computer. It's just this. This goes to the USB port. It's the only thing I've hooked up. Okay. And this is, guys, you can see, going to the antenna. In fact, that's what we're using right now to put uh, TV on our PC. Now, really USB well. is this as good as putting in a card? 
Uh, the only limitations you're stuck with are the bandwidth of the USB port itself. So you, full screen video might not be really great. It might be a little fuzzy. But, but for most people, they, they, it's not that they want to sit and watch a TV show. They want to have this little picture in there. If you're looking to put video in the window of your computer screen, right. this is a perfect solution. And I, oh, I guess it doesn't go to full screen. That's as big as it's going to go. Huh? Well, you should be able to double tap on that, maybe. It won't let me go any bigger. Yeah. Uh, go big. No, it made smaller. Okay. Well, anyway, so I, but it's nice because I do have TV on there. So this is a very easy way. And there's Mac solutions, too, for this, uh, Mac and uh, Windows uh, solutions that are use USB. But this Pinnacle is a very nice one. How much is that? $80. $80. Um, now, for, um, we, we mentioned the Matrox, the G400 TV. Uh, is that what this is? This is exp this expands upon that. It's a G400 card, but with the built-in expansion. So this is what I was telling John about. Now this is a very good video card by itself, Excellent. and then this attaches. So you have an extra little doohickey. Do you have to buy a special G400, or this is just a regular G400? This is for one whole package. It comes with the video card. It comes with the video card, and, and then this external box. And why do I need an external box? Well, this has all the ins and outputs for so plugging in your cable. So this, okay, I get it. All or right. you can add your composites in the front. And it's got a little cable on the back. There. And it has a. So this is where the output would go for outputting video. Or on the front, actually. This is where the input comes in. That's where the input comes in, and or if it came in on the cable True. TV like that. And this is output to another device. To, like so a this PCR. is this is a TV in and out. That's more of a complete video editing. Like the all in one. Well. What if I have a notebook computer? And uh, I guess USB would be one choice. Notebooks, Margie. Margie. Margie comes to the Margie rescue. is not the receptionist at the, <laughs> our, our Townsend office. It's a, this. It's a PC card that will go in a notebook. Essentially, it's a capture card, and they add on some really interesting attachments to it. Oh, One look at that. All the inputs you could possibly want. I love this attachment. This is a... That's nifty. So this would go to the cable if you have a cable, but if you don't, it's an antenna. Rabbit ears. So <laughs> it's rabbit ears <laughs> for your notebook. And then you'd hook that. Isn't that hysterical? It's a cable-ready tuner. And so you, 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 anywhere you could get the, the TV reception, you'd be able to watch TV. I think maybe in an airport. Or you just walk around like this. That would be cool. Call me Uncle Martin. <laughs> How much is that? Oh, uh, this actually is a little expensive. It runs about 320 Well, that's not bad for Oh, sorry. <laughs> PC <laughs> card solution. <laughs> Bottom line. Bottom line. This is for anyone who's looking for a way to... Uh, Save some cash, uh -huh. or if you just don't have the space. Okay. It's usually, there's a reason you would want one of these. Things. And if you want to put a card in, that's the cheapest, but USB is the easiest. If you've By got a notebook, far. you're going to spend a little bit more.